Housing prices have dropped $350,000, $400,000, up to a million dollars on a lot of the homes in Toronto. Hey guys, my name is David Ruff. Thanks very much for coming by. I live in the beautiful city of Toronto, Canada, and we are here to look at some of the crazy stuff that is happening in the news. Let's get into it. Let's open up our uh, article that we have today, and man, oh man, is it a crazy one. So this goes on to tell you that in Brampton, you can go look up BramptonGuardian.com, that the detached prices of homes have dropped $400,000 in Brampton, and in Mississauga, they have dropped $350,000 since January crazy the article goes on to say detached home prices which are the number one product that they're looking for in brampton mississauga have fallen dramatically since january wiping out all the gains they've seen that they saw in a frenzied uptick in the second half of 2021 now uh, for all you that who do not live in toronto brampton and mississauga are the boroughs that are like 30 minutes outside of toronto uh, so the Toronto Real Estate Board was uh, mentioning here that the detached homes have fallen 24.6%. This is sales price. This isn't number of units. Sales prices have dropped 24.6%. Brampton, 18.3%. Absolute chaos. Look at this. Average price for detached units in Brampton dropped from $1.6 million to 1.2, marking a $406,000 decline. Absolutely chaos. And for those who are listening on our podcast, you can see here that the prices will go from 1.2 million from last June and just soar like parabolic up to 1.6 in January. And then they're coming crashing down. The exact same things is happening in Mississauga where the prices were 1.5 last June. Uh, by January, it was 1.964. So let's call it 2 million, up 30%. Can you believe that in six months? And now it's dropped down to 1.6 million. So it is still above where it was last fall, but we had this insane period through the winter as there was zero, zero, zero inventory. So the number of homes that are selling are way, way down. In Brampton, it said it only saw 500. Uh, it saw 594 homes trade last June and this June, 271. So that's half. It dropped 54%. So this is crazy what is happening, right? The prices are collapsing. Now, these prices, you guys, uh, are going to be indicative of that interest rate. For every 1% that the interest rate goes up, home prices drop 10%. So for a million dollar home at 2%, as soon as they raise the interest rate by to 3% up, the home will drop to $900,000. So when the, when the bank comes and goes, I'm just going to change the rate, bam. And they change the rate by 1%. Doesn't sound like much, but, but just that action can wipe out trillions of dollars of net worth across the entire country. It is like taking a sledgehammer to the economy. Massive implications of that. So this is kind of, we sold our soul to the devil over the pandemic, right? Everyone was taking checks, uh, Canada, United States, all these stimmy checks to the companies and everything. When in reality, if we looked at economics, we should have actually said no. Now that sounds terrible, right? Because people needed the money then. But the amount of money that they got, they're going to end up paying 10 times more for that. I always tell that story about Warren Buffett. And you can go look it up on YouTube if you want. But if you go look at Warren Buffett, he would go and give these speeches at universities to all the graduating students. And he would tell them, you guys, if you want to give me 10% of all future earnings, uh, I'm happy to do that. And I'll give you $100,000 for that privilege today, today. But guess what? All those people in university, nobody will take them up on that offer. Nobody. Because they're like, I'm not going to give them a hundred, hundred grand for my 10% of my lifetime earnings. But people were taking these checks. And now that inflation is up 40%, home prices, food prices, they're not going back. 
So this deal to have to pay 40% more for everything for the rest of your life, for the cost of that little stimmy check that you got, it's not worth it. If you would have known that, you would never have taken the deal. And a lot of economists do, do know that, right? And this is a, a really tough thing, but a lot of people don't know that. So politics, be it, was, be it what it may, either you're left or right or whatever you are in the middle, it's not saying that we should have done it or should not have done it, but I can tell you that this is where we are right now. So let's get back into these uh, articles, guys, because this is uh, really important. This all comes down to interest rates. So if we look at interest rates right now, we can see that interest rates are sitting around 1% in 2014. In 2016, it hit half a percent. They tried to climb it up. But if you remember in 2019 in the United States, in the fall of 2019, the repo market almost collapsed. So we were forced to drop rates in the States immediately, which made Canada drop our rates. Um, as you can see here, it, we were sitting at a quarter of a percent all the way to the beginning of 2022. And this is what fueled the insane market that we've had. But you've seen it's gone from a quarter of a percent to two and a quarter percent. Okay. So that means that interest rates have gone up two and a quarter percent. Okay. This year, two and a quarter. What does that mean then from what we learned? 1% interest rate equals removing 10% of your value. So two and a quarter percent can drop your home 22 and a half percent. That is a huge hit. Massive especially when people have this effect that when their home price goes up, they spend more on cars, they spend more on everything because they feel more rich that way. But it's not real dollars in your account, right? It's paper dollars. And so this could really hurt the people who are just buying right now who are not going to qualify. But it's going to really hurt those people too who just bought in the last two years as their first time purchases because those are the point the prices that will come down and could push them into foreclosure. Okay. I have one last thing I want to show you guys, and this is a mortgage calculator. Uh, let's move into this mortgage calculator and we're going to go two things. Now let's look at a property that we are talking about in the article in Mississauga that was 2 million. So at a $2 million purchase price, you would have to pay 1.6, 20% down. So it'd be a $1.6 million mortgage in January at a 1.5% interest rate, which is what we were paying back then, your mortgage payment would be 6,000, let's call it $400. This is for a 25 year amortization, 1.5%, 1.6 million, $6,300 payment. Now, right now, everyone is celebrating because home prices are down $400,000, which would bring you down to a $1.2 million mortgage. Okay, wait, but mortgage rates are about 5.5 right now. If you bring up that mortgage rate to 5.5, the new payment is 7,324. So that's $900 more. I want you to let that sink in for a second. So everybody is celebrating the fact that the home prices are down 400,000. They're like, I can't wait for it to go down more. The payment today for this same house, regardless of the dollar value, is almost $1,000 more per month. And not a lot of people have an extra 1000 just lying around. So as people are cheering, the home price is going down and the interest rates are going up at a faster pace. The payments are higher. Most people are not cash buyers. Almost nobody. Now, the only cash buyers we generally see are like baby boomers and that generation, empty nesters, where they had some equity, they bought their home in the 70s, it's gone up and they're selling it now and downsizing. Okay, if we take them out of the picture, almost everybody has a mortgage. So you're buying a payment. The interest rate is more important than the price. So even though the price is down a lot, interest rates are higher, payments. What were they again? I wrote them down here. 6,400 at a $2 million home. And now that the home is 1.6 million, the payment is now 7,300. Whoo. This is serious news, man. And this is going to keep on coming up over and over and over again. So as we go and, and take people to go look at properties, and we're going to show them them to buy them through the brokerage that we have in Toronto. Uh, they're all super excited to look at them. And they're super excited when they walk in and when they look at it. Oh, my goodness. It's like manna from heaven that the prices have come down. Then they go talk to their mortgage broker and their mind explodes. 
they can't handle this type because we're used to cheap, cheap, cheap money. And this is why whenever you go look at a property to buy, you have to go talk to your mortgage broker first. If you don't go talk to your mortgage broker, you're wasting your time, your agent's time and everyone else's time. Go to your mortgage broker first and try and figure this out where you can qualify before you start going checking out those homes. As you guys know, uh, I'm in Toronto, Canada. I have a brokerage here. Uh, I'm a real estate agent and we have agents that are here. We can help you anytime you want. Um, please remember to like and subscribe to this and comment below uh, what you think about this stuff. I'm always curious what everyone is thinking about this and what they think about the market and where we think it's going to go because we're expecting it to get a lot worse in the fall and through the winter as the gas in Europe is desperately needed. The Gazprom pipeline is being uh, turned off, the Nord Stream pipeline. Uh, we're also going to have massive food insecurity. So I expect food and gas to go way up, which will push down what the banks are willing to lend you. Remember, of course, the bank says you have to put 20% down on your house or 5%, whatever the rules are. But it doesn't necessarily mean that's what the banks are doing because what we're seeing now is banks are requiring you to put down 30%. 40% on your home. The banks are scared. So they want more and more cash down on the home, which is going to make it harder and harder for this time. We'll get through this tough time, but it's not going to be without some bumps. Remember, if you even know one person that could benefit from this, please forward it to them. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great night.